Megasign provides an extensive range of assay kits for use in various assay formats, including auto analyzer, microplate, and manual spectrophotometer. This acetic acid assay kit can be used to accurately measure acetic acid in various sample types throughout industries such as food and beverages. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the acid kit with a wine sample using the manual spectrophotometer format. It is important to measure acetic acid in wine as it is responsible for causing vinegar taint and accounting for around 85% of volatile acidity in wine. This kit contains sufficient reagents for either 72 or 144 manual assays and is supplied with a detailed data booklet. This assay is specific for the measurement of acetic acid. The principle of the enzymatic reactions involved in the measurement of acetic acid is shown in this figure. The enzyme acetate kinase converts acetic acid and ATP to acetyl phosphate plus ADP. The reaction is accelerated by the rapid conversion of the acetyl phosphate product into acetyl-CoA and inorganic phosphate by phosphotransacetylase in the presence of coenzyme A. The ADP formed in the first reaction is converted back to ATP and pyruvate by pyruvate kinase in the presence of PEP. In the final reaction, D-lactate dehydrogenase catalyzes the conversion of pyruvate into D-lactate, coupled with the conversion of NADH to NAD. The amount of NAD formed is stoichiometric with the amount of acetic acid in the cuvette. It is the NADH consumption which is measured by the decrease in absorbance at 340 nanometers. Prior to sample analysis, the kit components should be prepared as described in the kit data booklet. And once prepared, they are ready for use in the manual assay procedure. All of the kit components except bottles 2 and 3 are used as supplied. The contents of bottle 2 are dissolved in 15 millilitres of distilled water. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly to ensure complete dissolution. The contents of bottle 3 are dissolved in 0.8 millilitres of distilled water. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly to ensure complete dissolution. For longer term stability, do not dissolve the contents of the second bottle until required. Follow the manual assay procedure as described in the data booklet. Pipette all assay components except the final trigger enzyme in bottle 5 into each assay tube. A blank reaction and a standard reaction must be performed with each batch of samples. Pipette 2.0 millilitres of distilled water into all assay tubes. Add an additional 0.1 millilitres of distilled water into blank assay tube. Add 0.1 millilitres of sample to all sample assay tubes. Add 0.1 millilitres of kit standard bottle 6 to the standard assay tube. Prepare 0.3 millilitres of solution 1 into all assay tubes. Pipette 0.2 millilitres of solution 2 into all acid tubes. Pipette 20 microlitres of solution 3 into all acid tubes. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 4 prior to dispensing. 
pipette 20 microliters of suspension 4 into all acid tubes. When all of the components have been added, mix the tube contents thoroughly and incubate the tubes in the 37 degrees Celsius heating block for approximately two minutes. After two minutes, record the first absorbance reading A1 at 340 nanometers for all of the acid tubes. In this demonstration, we are using the MegaQuant Wave spectrophotometer set to read at 340 nanometers. Alternatively, a recording spectrophotometer with 1 cm path length cuvettes can be used. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 5 prior to dispensing. After recording the A1 absorbance value, prepare 20 microliters of the trigger enzyme acetic kinase into all acid tubes. Mix the tubes thoroughly and incubate them at 37 degrees Celsius for 4 minutes to allow the reaction to go to completion. Record the absorbance reading A2 for all of the acid tubes. This absorbance reading completes the measurement of acetic acid. The absorbance readings A1 and A2 of the sample and the blank reactions I used to calculate the acetic acid concentrations in the original samples. When performing this test using the pre-installed protocol on the MegaQuant Wave Spectrophotometer, the results will be automatically calculated and printed via the onboard printer. Where the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see our MegaQuant Wave video for further details. If the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples, the calculations of acetic acid content can be performed manually as described in the calculation section of the kit booklet. Megazyme has also developed specific Excel-based MegaCalc applications for each Megazyme kit to allow quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analysed using the MegaCalc application specific to this acetic acid kit, which is available to download free of charge from the Megazyme website. The MegaCalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the MegaCalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the blanks. For each sample, input the sample identifier and the absorbance values for the samples. Alter the sample volume if a volume other than the default 0.1 milliliters is used. If dilution of the sample has been performed, then input the dilution factor used. If no further dilution was performed, the dilution factor is one. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of acetic acid in the sample is automatically calculated and given as grams per litre in the original sample. For solid samples, input the concentration of the original sample extract in grams per litre. Concentration of acetic acid in the solid samples is then automatically calculated and provided as grams per 100 gram in the original sample. 